how to derive the quadratic formula. So starting off with a quadratic equation of the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, where a, b and c are real numbers. Given any a, b and c, we need the formula to be able to solve this and work out what values of x would make the equation equal to zero. So to find this formula, we're gonna start by multiplying through by a, which gives us a squared x squared plus abx plus ac equals zero. Now by completing the square, we're gonna get this down to single x's. So we begin with an a squared x squared. So the square root of that is ax, which means the left-hand side of our bracket is gonna be ax. Now we want to get abx as our second term. So we need something that would multiply by a twice to give us ab, so that's b over two. So we've started off with ax plus b over two all squared. Now if we were to expand that, we'd end up with b over two all squared as an extra term which we don't need. So we're gonna take that away, and that's equal to b squared over four. And then let's not forget, we've also got our plus ac equals zero from before that we haven't done anything with. So now we've got it to this form. We're gonna move the b squared over four and the ac to the other side by adding and subtracting. If we multiply by four, this gets rid of the fraction on the right hand side. Now if you notice we've got four, which is a square number, and we've got a square bracket on the left. So if we square root, we get two lots of ax plus b over two is equal to plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac. Expanding the left hand side makes that 2ax plus b. And if we take away the b, and finally we're going to divide by that 2a that's on the left hand side, which gives us the quadratic formula x equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel or check out some more of my videos by clicking on the links here.